you have heard a thousand times before that there's no history of the Israelites ever being in Egypt, right? What if I told you that I found the city of the Hebrews in Egypt, hidden in plain sight? And I'm going to bring it out at the Passover. Oh, this oh, Passover oh, 2016. Oh, oh, I'm going to drop the day work. Shalom. This is the ISUPK out of 1 West 125th Street, Hall of New York, under commanding General Yohanna. I'm Officer Sawa Parr, and today I want to explain to you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians about natural rank and order, man. How to get your households back in order, man. How, how, how to disconnect yourself from America and what Americans believe, man. Because it's, it's so wrong, it's so twisted, man. And, and, and they got it messed up. They got our households upside down, man. The kids are telling the woman what to do. The woman is telling you what to do, man. And, and it goes against everything that God stands for, man. It, 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 it got us killing each other, man. <clears throat> it, it got us in the gutters, man. It got our households in disarray, man. It got our sons and daughters coming up as, as, as transgender and, 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 and homosexual, man. It's all the same thing. It's all, it's, it's all so, so twisted and wicked, man. These young men out here want to grow up and be young women because that's all they see in the household, man. These young women out here want to grow up and be men, man, because they missing it in the household, man. And everybody getting high. Ain't no ranking order, man. Ain't no godliness going on in these households, man. These young women are raising children to be like them. These young women hate men. They raise their young sons to grow up and hate men. So when their sons are 14 and 15 years old and they hit the streets, the only thing they know is to hate men. So when they see their brother in distress or in need, they already hate their brother. From jump, man. From the start of it. Nobody has any comp compassion for one another, man. We don't have any humanity, man. And these blacks, Hispanics, and, and Native American Indian uh, uh, households, man, we're lacking God. And we're going to get it today, man. We're going to get this word, man. And I'm going to start off by using the King James translation of the Holy Bible, man. This is the King James translation of the Holy Bible. And today I want to start off in 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3, man. Damn I'm right, man. We're going to get right into it. This has been bothering me for a minute, man. Chapter 11 and verse 3, and it reads, But I will have you know... That the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man, and the head of Christ is God, man. Damn right. That's rank and order, man. That's rank and order, man. The head of man, I mean, the head of man is Christ, man. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God, man. Or Yahweh in the Hebrew, man. Damn right, man. Damn right, man. Damn right, rank and order, man. And that's that's this what's wrong with us, man, as a people, man. It's why so many homosexual brothers out here, man, and, and so many homosexual sisters out here, man, a lesbian, whatever they want to call themselves. It's all gay, man. It's it's, it's all transgendered, it's all uh 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 reverse roles, man. Sisters wanna wear the pants, man. The sisters wanna be in the chief seat, man. The sisters the, the sisters wanna be in the chief seat. These sisters wanna run the household, man. And you brothers are letting them, man. You are being soft, man. You are effeminate. And you lack a backbone. Because you don't have any law, statutes, and commandments in yourself, man. Damn right, man. Let's get that scripture again, man. But I will have... Uh, uh, this is 1 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God, man. The head, head, man. The head means, the adjective for head means chief, principal, main, first, foremost, prime, senior, top, highest, 
top ranking. The man is supposed to be the head over the woman. And Christ is the head over the man. And God is the head over Christ. Rank and order, man. Damn right. We need to have some discipline in these households, man. Once we get this rank and order down, man. Once we get these scriptures back in our household, man. You will see that you will have a peaceful household. Your kids will listen to your wife and you. Your wife will listen to you, man. Because you have to listen to Christ, man. First, you have to listen to Christ, man, by following God's law, statutes, and commandments, man. Christ left the blueprint for us, brothers, man, and sisters out here, man. Damn right, man. The verb for head, man, is being in the leading position. Sending them for head, man. Lead. Be at the front of. Be the first. Lead the way. I can't stress it to you no more, man. Your woman ain't supposed to lead you, man. It don't work like that. You don't lead Christ, man. And Christ don't lead God, man. It's, it's natural rank and order, man. This is this is what's this is what we, we must do, man. Damn right, man. Let's get some more, man. Let's get 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 34, man. And it reads. Verse 34, and it reads. Let your woman keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak. But they are commanded to be under obedience. As also saith the law. Let's get some more, man. It's so heavy, man. Verse 35. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home. For it is not for it is a shame for a woman to speak in the churches, man. And again, the word church means body of men. It's a shame for your woman to be around all of these men, mixing it up with these men, trying to trying to teach them and tell them about the law, statutes, and commandments. It's a shame for your woman to to think that she's the head of a man. Because that's not that's not natural rank and order, man. It's a shame for your woman to want to be a chief over the men. It's a shame. It's a shame for your woman to think that she's supposed to be leading a man. Your woman's not supposed to lead you. Brother, you're supposed to lead that woman, man. Stop being a punk, man. Stop being feminine. Lace up your boots, man. Get out here and do this work, man. Damn right. Let's get some more, man. Damn right. Let's get a... Uh, Let's get First Timothy, man. Let's get First Timothy chapter uh, two and verse eleven. Let the woman learn in silence, with all subjection. But I suffer, it's a lock in verse twelve. But I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over over the man, but to be in silence. The word usurp means. To be in power of, or to be in the chief seat. The word usurp means authority, man. That woman's not supposed to have authority over a man, man. And this is the reason why. Let's get some more. Verse 13. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 13. For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in transgression. Damn I'm right, man. That's why you ain't supposed to listen to that woman, man. But she carnal as hell, man. She want to be in that chief seat, and she'll listen to anybody to do so, man. She'll listen to anything they say, any doctrine they say, man, to do so, to get up from up under you, man, so she can be the chief. Does that woman don't want to be up under you? She want to lead, man. We'll show you how to keep your woman in check, man, by using these scriptures, man, by using this holy word, man. Damn right, man. Contact a brother in the ISUPK, man. Go to www.isupk.com, man. Damn right, man. Let's get some more. Let's get. Let's get uh Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiasticus, I like it. Let's get Ecclesiastic Ecclesiastes chapter 7 and verse 26. Yeah, that's what I want. Chapter 7 and verse 26. I find more bitter than death the woman who's Whose heart is a snare and nets in her hands as bands. Whoso Salakia, whoso please of God shall escape from her. But the Salakia, but the snares shall be but but the Salakia, but the sinner shall be taken by her. And if you're not a righteous brother, man, if you don't have these law, statutes, and commandments, is what they're saying is that woman will rule over you, man. And she will cause all sorts of transgression and ungodliness in that household. Because the woman ain't supposed to lead you. She will have you spending your whole damn paycheck from your slavery 
on damn Gucci and Louis Vuitton, man. Because she's carnal as hell, man, naturally, man. And she don't want to follow no righteous man. But I'm telling you to lace up your boots, man. Get this word, man. And, and the most high power God will provide, man. He will provide for us brothers, man. And sisters out here, man. Get some of these brothers back on the right track, man. Get these brothers from wearing these tight pants, man. Uh, these, these, these feminine clothes they got on, these tight shirts. The brother clothes are getting tighter than the sister's clothes, man. It, it's, it's all so wrong, man. It's reverse roles, man. And America is all for it, man. We must separate from America because that's what it's for, man. It's for our destruction, man. It, 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 it's against everything that we hold true to our power, man. Everything that our God says is good, man. America tell us is wicked, man. And everything that America tell us is good, man. Our power tell us is wicked, man. If if you need better understanding, man, our seven, area code five six one six three three. 8313, man. Area code 561-633-8313. I can't stress it to you no more, man. It's, it's all so wrong, man. It's all so twisted, man. It's all so twisted, man. Let's 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 also get uh let's let's also get uh Ephesians 5 and 22. Jump right on that, man. Ephesians. Chapter 5 and verse 22. Damn right, man. We're going to pull it all out today, man. I am tired of seeing this in these households, man. These sisters uh, are, are running the man ragged, man. These brothers don't know no better, man. They have been taught by the Christian church that the man and the woman is equal, man. That you sit on the same seat. That there's no power in your household for you, man. Damn if your sister, if your if that if your wife, man, bring home more money than you, man. You are the man. You are the chief, man. Take control, man. Have some damn respect for your power, man, for your God, man. Now I'm right, man. Let's get it. Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 22. And it read, Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands. As unto the Lord, man. Wives, submit yourselves unto your husband as unto the, the as is assembly, man. It means like or same as or wives, submit yourself to your husband like he is your God, man. Damn right, man. These sisters, we, we got we to learn how to, you got to learn how to treat the brother, man, right, man. So your, so your sons and daughters can see this, man. We can start building this family back up, this nation back up, man. Damn right, man. And it starts right in the household, man. You got to get these law, statutes, and commandments back in this household, man. Know them and do them. Yeah, I'm right, man. Let's get Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 10. And, and before I start in here, man, I want to explain to you, 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 you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians on just how righteous it is to have natural rank and order in that household. Sisters, you don't have to be stressed out pulling your damn hair out, man. Let that man worry about that kind of stuff, man. That's what a man is for. He can handle certain things a woman just can't handle, man. The man is not supposed to be that emotional, man. America has turned the, the, the men out here more feminine than the sisters, man. There's no masculine men anymore, man, because we don't have these law statutes and commandments, man. These brothers, we have to learn how to treat these sisters, man. Like God commanded us to treat these sisters, man. Damn right. Take charge. Take control. Tell that sister she don't have to worry about that kind of stuff no more, man. You got it, man. Tell that sister, man, what to do, man. It's all right, man, if you're a righteous man. Damn right, man. This is a wicked, a wicked man is it, it, going to get a wicked sister. And, and there ain't no way around it, man. And the wicked sister going to get a wicked man. Ain't no way around it, man. Brothers, have some standards. Sisters, have some standards before you lay down with that brother, man. And if you already in the household with it, man, then, 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 then by God, use this power that we have, man. Go back to these law, statutes, and commandments, man. God will fight these fights for us, man. Win these battles for us, man. This is our power, man. This is our strength, man. And for us not to use it is a slap in the face to our power, man. To our God, man. Damn right. Let's get Proverbs chapter 31 and verse 10. 
Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies? Who can find a virtuous woman? In, in, in America, in 2016, it's so hard to find a sister with some virtuosity in her, man. A sister with some damn standards and morals, man. To, to find a sister who's not vain. To find a sister who cares about pleasing her man. A man of God, man. Who can find a virtuous woman for her price is far above rubies, man? Sister, stop thinking that you're worth a man that can, that can pay your damn bills, man. Money ain't everything, man. It's all right if you pay them damn bills to have a righteous man in your household, man. To raise up these families, man. To raise up these kids, man. You shouldn't want that brother at the damn job 24-7, man. What can he do at home if he at work for 20 hours at the damn day? How can he run that household? How can he put some rank and order in that household if he's gone all day, man? From that house to pay some bills. He ain't, it, it, it'll be totally different if he was out here doing the work of the Lord. Because God will provide then. Damn right, man. I, I can't stress it to you no more, man. Get into this truth, man. Get into the ISUPK.com. Get into I like it. Get into the ISUPK, man. You can go to the website at ISUPK.com, man. Click on the link that says contacts. Contact the brother that's in the city, that's in the state and city that you are from, man. It's, it's, it's all over the world, man. This truth is being spread all over the world, man. We, I also want to remind you that we host classes from, from Tuesday through Saturday, man, from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. every day, man, without fail. And you can also go to the website, click on the link for these, man, for these, for these classes that, 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 are, that we host in this school. And uh, you can ask any question that your heart desires, man. Ain't no wrong question in this school, man. Damn right, man. This ain't the Christian church, man. We are answering questions, man. We are breaking down this Bible, man. We are breaking down the prophetic word, man, so you can have some understanding, so you can have some rank and order in your household, man. Damn right, man. I also want to remind you to, to, to catch the grill, man. Check out the grill, the radio show called The Grill, man. It's hosted by Commanding General Yohanna, man. Every Monday night, man, from 9 p.m. to 11 p.m., man. And, and, and it, it don't get no realer than this, man. You have a real brother on the other line that's answering questions, man. You could, like I said, you could talk to your face turn blue. You can ask any question your heart desires, man. If you trying to get this scripture broke down, man, and you trying to get these demons and curses off your family, man, contact a brother in the school, man, at ISUPK, man. If you're down here in Florida, man, if you want to holler at me, Officer Sour Park, man, dial area code 561 633 8313. Again, man, these brothers, man, are doing the work of that Yahweh shot left us a blueprint for, man. The, the, the work that we're supposed to do, man. That's what's going on around here in the ISUPK, man. And we're going to put some rank and order back in these households, man. We're going to get your kids back on track, man. We're going to get your wife back on track. And, brother, we're going to get you back on track, man. And show you how to be masculine, man. Damn right, man. Show you how to be righteous, man. Damn right, man. Again, man, I'm Officer Sour Park from the ISUPK, man. Out of 1 West 125th Street, Harlem, New York, under Commanding General Yohanna, man. Since 1969, this work has been done, man. I just want to remind you, brothers, man, to get into these classes. Shalom. Why you trying to stop it, dude? If this is not the truth, what I die for, I lie. Hell nah, I never do. I'ma die for the truth. This is what I'm telling you. Hoping that your mind bulletproof of what they telling you. Hoping you ain't buying all the lies they been selling you. Never knew all the fucking faggot shit they reverend do. Bet they run when the news come like the reverend do. We on the grind trying to help these Jews find they mind. They stole our like Jews, but we still gon' shine. My brothers gone locked up, all they doing the time I can't wait until the devil gotta pay for his crimes Hey, I be sippin' on my star You fucked over me today, well I can't fuck with you tomorrow Pay no mind and I can borrow I'm gonna spread that UPK until them devils fill my sorrow